Hello grade 9 math class, welcome back to another lecture. We have lesson 7 today, Roots of Fractions. So, you're going to see some familiar parts uh, and we're just going to combine them all together. You're going to see fractions and you're going to see roots. Um, let's go. The first question is the root of 25 over 121. And what we can do when we have a fraction that is all under the square root sign is we can actually just break this up into two pieces. And when I say two pieces, I mean that we can have the root of 25 over the root of 21. Let me show you what I mean. This is the same as the root of 25 divided by the root of 121. And this works really well when we know um, the square root of these numbers. When these are perfect squares, we can break them up and just square root them ourselves. The square root of, five, of 25, we know, is 5. And the square root of 121, one of my favorites, is 11. So this is a fraction just written like that. We're going to check to see if we can reduce it. Uh, nothing goes into both 5 and 11, so we're just going to leave it. Uh, always check to see if you can reduce, but that is all you need to do for questions like this. You make sure that you can square the top and square at the bottom, so you split it, and then you do those operations. Let's go to the next question that we're given. This one is the root of 25 divided by the root of three. Sorry, I should say the root of 25 divided by three. That's how I should say it. Um, we can break this up again, uh, just like we did before. But we do have one small thing that we don't like, but I'll show that we can't really take care of it, is that this is going to be a square root of three on the bottom. So let's go. We have the square root of 25 divided by the square root of three. And in these questions, we are simplifying as much as we can. So because I can square root the top, I'm going to go ahead and do that. Um, but there's nothing that I can currently do about the root, square root on the bottom. So this is the same as 5 over the square root of 3. So that cannot be reduced any further, so this would be our answer. Uh, a couple of things I want to point out. This up here, written as a fraction, this is a rational number. Any fraction is a rational number. Uh, if we have this one down here, uh, it's a fraction, but it's got a square root sign in it. So this one is irrational. If they ever got a square root sign, it, it makes it irrational immediately. So that's a rational number. That is an irrational number. Uh, let's go to the next problem. 27 divided by 6. I'm going to shift this up. Awesome. So this is the root of 27 divided by 6. Now, uh, I look at this one and I don't know what the square root of 27 is and I don't know what the square root of 6 is. So breaking it up into the two pieces like we did in the last two questions is unfortunately not very helpful for us. Uh, what I want to look for in that situation is can you reduce that fraction? Can you turn it into something simpler? And I know that if I divide both 27 and 6 by 3, I can make them smaller. So this is the same as the root of 27 divided by 3 is 9, and 6 divided by 3 is 2. And I know what the square root of 9 is, so this is useful to us. I can write this as the square root of 9 over the square root of 2, going back to my rule from before. And I'm doing this because I know what the square root of one of these numbers is. I know what the square root of 9 is. So that leaves us with, I'm going to write it a little higher, 3 over the root of 2, which, again, is an irrational number. But that is okay. That is simplified as much as it can. We have one last question. Yes, we do. One last question. So this one is the root of 3 over 12. So I'm looking at this one again. It does not seem like I can square root any of these. I don't know what the square root of 3 is, and I don't know what the square root of 12 is. So I'm going to go ahead and reduce this. 
Um, this is the same. Three tw three twelfths is the same as one quarter. So this would be the root of one over four. And I know that the square root of four is two. And I know that the square root of one is one. So actually, I know the square root of both of these. The square root of one or the square root of four. And that's the same as one half. I cannot reduce this anymore. And it is a rational number. Is it a fraction without a uh, radical or a root sign in it? Um, so yeah, a couple of things you need to do is be able to break up uh, a fraction that is under a square root sign into two parts. Uh, know when you need to reduce it. Uh, and know when you need to reduce the fraction at the end into simplest terms. It is OK to have a radical sign in the, in the end as long as you have reduced it as far as you can. Thank you so much for watching, everyone, and I'll see you soon.